Hey guys, it's Lauren. I just tried filming this actually and my MacBook said, oh, there's no memory left so we're going to stop recording. I am making this video about Turner Syndrome and explaining it a little bit more for people that don't know. So Turner Syndrome is a chromosome abnormality that happens in only girls. Um, boys can't get it. It's where the X chromosome is missing or altered in the girl. So girls have two X chromosomes and boys have an X and a Y. So the second X chromosome is missing or altered in Turner Syndrome girls. Um, it is not inherited, so it's not something that was passed on from me or my grandparents or anything like that. It's not age-related. For example, someone with uh, that is 35 or older, I believe, has a higher risk of having a child with Down syndrome. This is not the case at all. It uh, doesn't matter how young or old you are as a mother, it doesn't affect the chance that you'll get turned, the child will get turned. It's completely random. It's not something either Jared or I did. It just, um, either the egg or the sperm, we'll never know. I don't want to know. Um, one of them didn't have the X chromosome or was missing part of it, something, and that's fine. Um, so I've drawn out here a few things that uh, girls with Turner can have, Turner syndrome can have. Let's hold it up here. So uh, they can have heart problems, kidney problems, thyroid, learning difficulties, stirring problems, and bone structure problems. They can also have fertility problems, but they can still do IVF treatments and still get pregnant on their like with IVF. Um, so as of right now, my little girl has heart problems and kidney problems, which I'm not going to explain here because this is just to explain to her syndrome a little more. If you want to know more about the specific things that are going on with my daughter, then uh, I've posted it in another previous video that has the same background. Um, so generally, girls only have a couple or a few of these problems. They don't have all of them. And like I said, my only has two as of right now. Um, learning difficulties are not extremely common. It's not generally considered a mental disability or anything like that. It's more of a physical thing. So I'm going to go to the next page. I kind of already explained this. So there's 46 chromosomes in the baby that gets... Uh, 23 from the dad, 23 from the mom. I'm just trying to explain what I have found out on my own and through my doctors. So if I get anything wrong, please don't get mad because I am definitely not a doctor and um, I'm trying to make this information as accurate as possible. The girls have two X chromosomes, boys have an X and a Y. Uh, the Turner girls are missing or have an altered X chromosome. So the second X chromosome can be like they can have half of it, they can have a quarter of it, something. And uh, I believe that depends on the like severity of the Turner Syndrome. Uh, which we don't know as of right now. We won't know until, I guess, she gets older. Maybe, maybe the blood test when she's born. But I doubt it. I think that just confirms for sure if she has Turner's, which we know she does. Because many girls don't. This is really hard to read backwards. Many girls don't show signs to them, like their periods, girl spurts, they can function normally and usually don't have mental or learning disabilities. Like I said before, it is not usually considered a mental chromosome abnormality, I guess. It is mostly physical. Their cogn cognitive learning isn't affected. Um, sometimes that is the case, yes, but um, most of the time it is not. There are plenty of girls that function completely, 100% normally. So, physical traits, um, almost all girls are shorter. They do not hit a growth spurt, um, they, which is why they are not diagnosed until they are usually teenagers. Because when they're hitting puberty, they usually hit a growth spurt and grow a lot and get their period. And girls with Turner syndrome generally do not get those. 
Uh, so you can take growth hormone supplements and like continue seeing a hormone doctor and all that to get as tall as you can, but chances are you're still probably going to be shorter than average. I'm lucky because my boyfriend is 6'4", and his brother is like 6'8", so I, and I, my family is pretty tall too, I'm like 5'7", so I'm hoping he won't be too short, but if she is, I'm still going to love her no matter what. She's going to be a cute little munchkin, so um, I can have puffy hands and feet, which I have heard it does sometimes go away on its own after time. Usually it just happens when they're kids. Um, their ovaries, like I said, they do not function properly most of the time, which means they can't have kids naturally. They can adopt, they can do IVF treatments. Um, it's not the end of the world, and I really hope my daughter doesn't hate me for it one day because that would really suck. Um, they can have a webbed neck, which means they just have extra skin back here. So it just kind of looks like you can't, I can't do it because I don't have it, obviously. But they just have like extra skin that's just, uh, yeah, just extra skin like this. And it's just a web neck. Uh, they can have skeletal or abnormalities, which uh, their bones don't grow as big as they should. Um, right now her thigh, actually, one of her thigh, like her femur bone is uh, a little bit smaller than it should be, but they're not too concerned about it yet, so I'm not too concerned about it. Uh, kidney problems. I have a horseshoe kidney, or uh, it just can't be fully formed. There's like, there's a lot of different possibilities for that. Same with uh, heart defects. There's several things that could go wrong with the heart with girls that that have Turner syndrome. It's not always the same in every girl. And like none of these are always the same in every girl. Sometimes they only have a couple, sometimes they have none, sometimes they have all of them. Um, but but this one over here, like I said, they, they generally don't have all of these those traits. Sometimes they have all of the physical traits, but not normally. And they also can have high blood pressure. Um I think that is it for as much as I'm going to explain that. I am still really excited to have a baby. Even if she has Turner Syndrome, I'm still going to love her just the same. And if you guys have any questions at all about Turner Syndrome, I will try my best to answer them. I know a lot of the stuff that I read on Google <laughs> and like WebMD and stuff was actually really accurate. My doctor gave me pretty much the exact same information, and so that's a really good place to go, I guess. Um, yeah, but if you have any questions about my personal pregnancy and uh, Turner Syndrome with my baby, I'd be more than happy to answer them. And if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up, and uh, comment, subscribe, I'd love to have more subscribers. Hint, hint. Um, yeah, that is the end of this video because I'm probably going to run out of room on my MacBook soon. Bye guys.